I just received uh, this uh, Samsung uh, micro SD card for my phone uh, Blade uh, ZTE Blade V8 Pro. I mentioned it before that I ordered it and now it came. I opted uh, for the pro version of this, not just because the phone is pro, but also uh, because it has very fast write speed. Uh, normally the uh, write speed of the uh, regular version is like 10 or 20 megabytes per second even though read speed is also 90 for the Evo version of the Samsung product. This is like twice. Uh, this costs right now $76 uh, plus tax so it's something like over $80. Uh, but basically what it does is um, it has a very super fast write speed which will help for 4K videos and everything else and I just wanted to basically uh, future uh, proof my purchase so that uh, I can use it uh, for multiple occasions in the uh, future so um, I'll be testing the performance of this uh, by inserting it into my phone uh, and then recording in 4k and hopefully uh, it will work and uh, then you will have an idea about if this uh, card is compatible which I hope it is uh, or not with the ZTE phone all right, so let's insert this SD card that I purchased into the phone. Um, here I'm cutting it at the... There are some lines here on the box, uh, at the lines to get the card out. The card, a micro SD card came with an adapter uh, for use as an SD card. Um, which is handy if you want to insert it into your uh, laptop and such. And um, let's get this thing out. It's tiny, as you can see. Um, and this thing came embedded in the envelope here. I thought this was some sort of an ornament or something. It came like this, you know. I thought it was either ornament or some sort of a closing mechanism, but this is actually a tool to open the phone side to reach the to reach the SD card uh, compartment. So it says insert a tip into the eject tool, tray eject tool into the hole, and pull out the card tray. So I'm inserting it like this. Get this out, inserting it like this, and okay, inserted it. What, what do I do now? Oh, okay, okay, so I need to fully insert it to pop this thing out. Didn't know, and here are the number one and number two. The instruction says number one. This one here is the SIM slot 1, um, this is the SIM slot 2, but the SIM slot 2 is also the micro SD X card slot. So it has a certain pattern. I assume it's just gonna fit like this. Yes, just like that. It says the gold part uh, on the tray with the gold colored contacts facing down. So I just pulled it out like that. Uh, the labels are facing up, so the gold part here, the contact part, is facing down. Okay, this is easier than I thought. It's almost not moving, slightly moving inside. Um, but I hope once I insert it back, it's going to uh, make full contact and no longer move. So I'm just pressing it inside. And... I guess I will just press it by nails and fully closed down. I cannot further press it so it closed down so I assume uh, everything is done now so I will uh, let's turn the phone on I was gonna uh, put the uh, cover back but let's turn the phone on and let me stop the video here all right I just turned the phone on and while inserting the cover the phone kind of restarted itself. I don't know, I pressed the button or something, or it just restarted because I inserted the, the micro SD card. 
uh, I have no idea but basically the only way to know it is just to go to settings and go to the storage and it shows the Samsung turn it like this shows the Samsung card right now and I don't know why some portion of it is used well let's format this um, uh, so it says 2.38 megabytes is used um, let's format it and see if it's still going to say it is used or hold on uh, let's can I check the contents um, I don't know uh, let's go to other settings is there anything I can do no this is the same place this is the phone memory um, there's something called like folders or something file manager okay SD card uh, okay let's see what it is there are one data folders five data folders Android Google Android blah 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 maybe these are the things that uh, just the phone there are some folders that are created maybe these are the things that just the phone created maybe uh, that's why it restarted uh, because I didn't actually put the uh, press the uh, button for restart unless I did it accidentally but it didn't give any um, any warning or something maybe it restarted just to basically make the f card usable let's for erase and format it and see if uh, that 2.38 megabyte shows up again okay but at least it is recognizing it uh, so that was the biggest uh, thing since this is the high-end card with the uh, right speed okay it's all set to use with photos and other media it says done yes do you it still is showing usage but now it is 2.38 uh, not all, no longer 2.38 but 15 uh, 512 uh, kilobytes let's uh, which is less than what it was let's use um, the file manager again to check what is inside that thing file manager SD card uh, lost there the there is nothing there it says lost there nothing is lost there um, now let me format it one more time to be sure that uh, it is completely formatted and then I will use a video uh, I will record a video at 4k and I will record it to the card and okay done well it's still the same thing it's still the same lost thing that shows up there um, well I guess it's just gonna just gonna show up that thing now it has the SD card sign as SD card sign something SD card checking for errors oh doing something hmm I noticed this sign and it says checking for errors I think it checked for errors okay now it's gone uh, let's be sure that yeah alright so let's uh, record something at 4k uh, allow dual camera live photo I reset uh, the fact to the factor setting so that's why it's showing these things again uh, could turn it up start live photo captures so filter got it video let's choose 4k and save location okay save photos to phone no I will say save photos to SD card okay now it's going to uh, make 4k video and I yes have to keep it like this and let's record this 
how I'm recording it. So I guess during recording, we won't notice any difference, but well, we are gonna notice a difference um, when, I, when I press the stop button. So I'm just basically showing you the exterior of my home. Um, and even I can pull the blinds. Hold on, let me pull the blinds. Let me see it better. All right, so better now. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds. Uh, let's run it like uh, one minute so that it's a larger file. I don't know if it is right now um, keeping it in some temporary place or just right now uh, writing into the SD card. Uh, it might be already writing it right now, but um, whatever. So let's wait one minute so that it's uh, one minute long file and it's auto focusing okay let's stop this and well it immediately showed it so let's play it back and these are the settings on such brightness progress volume zoom yeah we can zoom in okay it's quite it's quite snappy as you can see I can forward it and rewind it very fast this is this is operating from the SD card okay let's go to the file to check how that file was that I just recorded and videos or SD card okay so it is 310 308 uh, megabytes and here's a squirrel over there a squirrel okay uh, so basically it recorded it fine I assume the card is working the squirrel is I think looking at me right now and uh, and uh, the squirrel can also confirm that the high-end uh, card, this card, Samsung uh, Pro 128 works. So the limit was listed that was 28 gigabytes. I don't know if you can put uh, more than that. But for the same price or even cheaper, I could have gotten a SanDisk 200 gigabyte of SD card, which would give me even more storage. Uh, it was however the slower write speed. The read speeds are similar. The write speed was gonna be slower and I don't know if it would have recognized it or not. Uh, I'm afraid I won't be testing it. Um, so if you know if 100, more than 128 gigabytes is supported, let me know in the comments as well. Huh? That's it for now and uh, thank you very much. One thing I forgot is to test the adapter, which should be working, but basically just for the sake of, you know, of testing everything, I'm going to now uh, put this micro SD card into the adapter, and then um, while I have this laptop, I will basically uh, test the, uh, if the adapter is working and transferring things fine. Let's insert this adapter. It's a handy thing if you have a laptop. Um, so that you can transfer things. It immediately gave the notice that something was inserted. It shows this thing. I'll just wait a bit um, in case it requires some pop-up or something. And I also took a picture uh, into the SD card. So the SD card will be the way to save stuff. Chose the SD card. Just trying to read it. This this slowness might be my laptop slowness, by the way. Um, I believe SD card oh, is fast enough to read. It's just my stupid laptop. I should have waited like. 10 minutes after turning it on, I think, for it to really load everything that it needs. Ah, oh, come on, bro.
Thank you. Yeah. Uh, just open the things is what I'm gonna say. Okay. So it has this lost thing that really doesn't show anything. The Android data. So these are the things, okay, that needs to be, I think, installed for the SD card to work. And where is uh, digital camera images, I think, are the thing. Okay, here are my pictures that I took uh, after the video. And uh, there is the, you can add the date and time, which I always want to do because I want the picture to immediately show that. And this is the 4K video. Oh, uh, I actually don't know if I will be able to play this thing um, here finish okay let's see if it is I use usually use VLC media player because it's compatible with many things no, but recording it, so I guess during recording you won't notice any difference but uh, buttons of lines in 30 seconds uh, uh, writing into the SD cards but better as you can see the video um, yeah, um, I can lines. as you can see the video plays fine the audio is fine let's do full screen one minute so that's a one minute long file it's so okay all right, so basically the adapter is wor working. I am directly reading it from the adapter or from the SD card. SD card is working, adapter is working, and uh, nicely the video that I recorded can be played in videos, media player. This is Windows 8.1. And let's check the properties. It should show the uh, resolution, yes. This is the 4K video that I just shot with the uh, ZTE Blade V8 Pro. All right, thanks.